Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Imposter, a horror game where you come home to find your spouse acting suspicious, so you begin to wonder if they're an imposter. So, this game actually does have full voice acting, it also has two voices to choose from, and there's also a guy version where you come back to a husband instead. Welcome home! So, how was your day? Welcome home! So, how was your day? We'll go with this one. Welcome home! Dinner's already in the oven. Since you've been working so many late nights this week, I figured I'd actually make myself useful for a change and cook your favorite. Great. Sweet of me, you say? <laughs> Not even half as sweet as you. Yeah, I am pretty sweet. How'd you know? So, how was your day? Uh, it was good. Went to the, um, I went to the anime store to, uh, uh, procure anime. That's what they got there. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Please don't overwork yourself, though. I know you always give everything your best, but even you have to slow down sometimes or you'll wind up sick. Oh, don't worry. Uh, I'm, I'm very professional at the, um, procuring of anime work. Silly. I'm just worried about you is all. It seems like you're working non-stop lately. Eh, yeah, you know, gotta be on that anime. Come here, you. I want to see that wonderful face of yours before you jump in the shower. You really are just as stunning as the day we met. You know that, right? Oh, uh, yes. I am as stunning as the day you met. Remember our first anniversary? When you spilled that dessert all down yourself and then managed to rip a giant hole in your shirt while desperately trying to stop it from staining? Yeah, that's right. We were so far away from the hotel, and I offered to lend you mine so you could cover up. But you said that would leave me shirtless and cold too. So we both ended up tossing away our shirts and walking all the way back in the freezing cold half naked together. Nice. <sighs> Good times, huh? Yeah, good times that I remember. Hmm? Why bring that up now? Is it so wrong for me to dwell on the past? <laughs> the both of us are just so busy these days. I like thinking back on those times when we had more freedom, you know? Don't worry. I still love the time we have together now just as much, okay? Every single second with you is so precious to me. Every single second is precious with me, too, um, anime girl I've just met. The look on your face says you don't believe me. Want me to show you how much I mean it? As long as it's safe for YouTube. Fine, have it your way. I'll just have to show you later instead, won't I? <laughs> I'll keep you to that promise. <laughs> you always get this one little wrinkle right here when you scowl at me like that. It's unbelievably adorable. What? You haven't noticed a single thing like that about me? Not even one tiny detail? Not ever? <laughs> oh well. Maybe it just goes to show that I love you an awful lot more than you do me. Youch. Calm down. I'm only kidding, silly. I know you love me too. Seriously though, I remember everything about you. From the color of your eyes to that faint mark on your cheek. What mark? Oh, come on. Don't tell me. I know your face better than you do. This one here, see? If you go look in the mirror, you'll definitely spot it. Are you implying I have some kind of badass anime scar? Stomp. Still can't find it? It's super small, just underneath your cheekbone on the left-hand side. Huh? It's on the right side. Hmm, that's strange. I could have sworn it was on the left. Hmm. Never mind, it's not important. Dinner's almost ready, so if you still want to have a shower, you better go now or the food will get cold. Surely you don't want all my hard work going to waste. All right. Hurry up, then, or I'll eat it all before you get back down here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I knew it. Something's not right. Taking a shower. 
in a horror game. Nothing ever bad happens in the shower in a horror game. By the way, this is a very long shower. At least for a video game, anyway. I suppose I should make another save. Well, no, I can't even save. It's just, I'm just stuck here showering. Okay, we're done. Cool. Did you have a nice shower? Yeah. It was, uh, it was a shower. That's good. So, I took the liberty of plating up for you as well. It's full service tonight. I want you to just sit down and relax, okay? You deserve it. Mwah. Hmm, you smell different today. Did you use a new shampoo or something? Yeah, I'm using, uh, Timote. No? Strange. What? I'll have you know that my sense of smell is perfectly normal, thank you. You know, I saw an incredibly fascinating documentary on TV earlier while you were at work, actually. It was about a woman whose husband fought in the war, but when he eventually returned home, his wife was absolutely convinced that he'd been replaced by an enemy spy. Hmm. Suspicious. Can you imagine something so horrifying? To wait patiently all that time to see your loved one after so many years apart, only to be confronted with a total stranger? The poor woman must have been utterly heartbroken. Why the woman? Well, because she lost her husband, of course. If he was truly a spy planted by enemy forces as she believed, surely that must mean her real husband went missing at some point and she would have had no idea. You're being very specific in this story. Did they ever prove the husband was a spy? Well, no, I don't think they did, but that's not the point, is it? Hey, I know this is completely unrelated, but... Do you remember way back when we first started dating when you gave me that card confessing your love? No, not really, but not like I did. You just poured all of your feelings out, and I was so overwhelmed when I read it that I just sat there and cried in front of you. Then tried to pretend it was an allergy-related incident. <laughs> huh? You don't recall that at all? No, it was definitely a card. You didn't send me a video message until that time I had to go away for a while. No, I wouldn't send you a card. Cards only for my, uh... My, uh, 2D wife. Well, you are technically 2D, but in the context of this, my 2D waifus. How could you possibly forget something like that? I must be thinking of someone else. Are you even hearing yourself right now? There is no one else. It's always just been you and me, together forever. That was the promise we made as kids. Oh my god, we went childhood friend route. You types usually never win an anime. Huh. The wonder this whole thing is suspicious. I'm going crazy! <laughs> That's rich coming from you! You wanna know what I think, huh? I think that one of us here is lying, and it sure as hell isn't me. So have you got anything you want to tell me? I'm sorry, honey. I became a YouTuber. I know. Come on. It doesn't matter how small. I promise you'll feel much better if you just get it off your chest. Nah. Well, say something! Something. Not up to talking, huh? Fine. You might as well eat then. No point in letting my hard work go to waste. I said, eat! Well, our, uh, our marriage is falling apart super fast. How close are we again? That's better. How is it? Like I said, I made your favorite. But since I don't actually know who the fuck you are, maybe you hate stuff like this. Whoa, calm down. I asked you a damn question. The least you could do is have the courtesy to answer me. Well, it doesn't matter anyhow. You'll be asleep in a minute. Then we can finally get down to business. Wait, man. What do you mean I'll be asleep in a minute? Oh, now you can speak again, huh? Funny that, isn't it? You can flap that ridiculous mouth of yours open and close when you feel like it. But not for me. Oh, no. Of course not for me. Never mind the fact that I'm supposed to be the most important thing in your life. Wow, this is, this is getting pretty rough. This is more like the horrors of divorce. 
Though, that doesn't mean anything anymore, does it? Not when you've gone someplace far, far away where I can't possibly reach you. But you see, I think I've managed to figure this whole awful situation out. Shh! I'm trying to explain this so that the real you will understand! They're not going to be able to hear me if you keep talking over every word I say! That statement sounds a little interesting and weird. And you hear the buzzing and the background noise? That's it. Shh. I promise this will all be over soon. You just have to be patient, okay? Now close your eyes and let yourself drift away. Slowly, softly, silently slipping into slumber. Wait a minute, you drugged my food. But you didn't do it recently. So you, you've planned this from the start. Wait, what? Hello? Blah. Yeah, that's no good. Why do we have a creepy basement? Wiki wiki. Wiki wiki. Hmm. Guess I must have used too much of that stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna make a save here. Oh, good. You're awake. Yes, I am. After I made my save file, I'm awake. Sorry if I startled you earlier. It's just... We're in a bit of a predicament, you see? Now... I know you think that you're you, and for the most part, you do seem to be. I'll admit, it's so convincing that you almost had me fooled. Hell, maybe you're just that good you've even managed to fool yourself. But I know better. The devil is in the details and all that. Your tricks are exposed. What if we just have memory issues? I mean, those are the, that's a legitimate thing. We could just have like some like memory issues. Maybe we've been working hard. Maybe it's more clinical or psychological, you know, and she's just she's just going about this the wrong way. Maybe she's help us ease into it. That's the twist. I've been paying extra close attention for the last few weeks. And the more I watched you, the more I realized there were these little bits and pieces here and there that didn't seem quite right. I actually think that was the twist of quite a few movies. I think I think that twist has been done quite a few times. You know what it's like when you have that feeling of things just not adding up? Like math. Once it latches on to your mind, it seems impossible to focus on anything else. Every minute occurrence suddenly gives way to another itching sensation at the back of your skull. And no matter how hard you try to shake it off, it simply won't leave you alone. You're a clever one, aren't you? Wearing somebody else like a fleshy skin suit so you can hide in plain sight. Living your life in place of the person you stole. No, I'm just a video game player. Fake! That's what you are. A disgusting, vile, loathsome little creature with no face of your own. How does it feel to finally be seen for what you truly are, huh? I bet you don't even have a conscience. How could you, doing what you do? No, there's no way a demon like you has anything close to a soul. You make me sick. Dang, how did you know about the soul thing? I'm wrong. <laughs> well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Or maybe she has memory problems. I like to think it's not like a dark twist. We'll see. Have you not been listening to a single word I've said? The jig is up. Game over. Curtains closed. You don't have to keep on pretending anymore. I like to think that, you know, this would be all resolved in a very nice, wholesome way. I. See. You. Now you listen to me, and you listen well because I've had just about enough of looking at your revolting fucking face! Imposter! No, I'm not the imposter. It's I an think. insult to everything we were! It's okay. Calm down. You can do this. You can get them back. I know that the person I love is still in there somewhere. Buried deep down beneath the surface. You cannot replace them. I won't allow it. It's only a matter of time before I crack open your deplorable disguise and set them free. This also could be a meta story. I'm seeing that possibly being happening. Because she says, I see you. She came in close and it was only in the left, uh, left side of the headset. So, we can do this the easy way. 
or the hard way? Which would you prefer? Um, me making a safe file way first. What do you mean you don't understand? I told you, I'm not just going to sit here and do nothing while you devour the most precious person in my life. I want you to admit what you've done. I want you to give them back to me. Fucking liar! I'm sorry, I'm not giving them back to you. Let's fill this playthrough's over. I promise, I'm going to get you out of there, my love. All right? I know you're probably so, so scared and confused right now, and I don't blame you. This thing swallowed you up, but I think I know how to set you free. I'm not talking to you, monster! Oh yeah, this is definitely a meta story. It won't be much longer now. I can already see the cracks starting to form. I just need a little more time to break this motherfucker. I love you. Always remember that. That's so romantic. Find yourself a, a spouse that says, I'm going to break this motherfucker. <laughs> That's it. Time's up. You heard everything I have to say. Will you just do us both a favor and admit you're a thieving fraud? If you had even the tiniest shred of decency, you'd give it up already. Save my game because it's going to get heavy pretty quick, I think. Can't you see how much this is hurting me? No, I can't. You only have one I sprite. I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this! Just fucking admit it! You're right, I'm an imposter. You're wrong, I'm not an imposter. Fuck! God, I felt that one. You're a real fucking piece of work, you know that? I bet you're getting off on seeing me like this, aren't you, huh? <laughs> Laughing in my face? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, oops. Well, guess what? Joke's on you, because we're going to stay here, like this. Just the three of us until you're ready to admit what you've done. Just the three of us. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what the storyline is. What's that? You thought I was joking. Oh, no. I hate to break it to you, my repulsive little friend. But I was deadly fucking serious. You're not going anywhere until I hear you say it. Cruel? You think I'm cruel? <laughs> That's freaking hilarious! Me? Cruel? <laughs> Not cruel, but you seem like to laugh a lot. You ruined my fucking life! You robbed me of the one person in the entire damn world that mattered! <laughs> I've got nothing left to lose, so I'm more than happy to wait. And when you finally decide you want to own up, I'll be here. And then I'll take back what you stole from me! I also re well, I realized a while ago, but I'll just state it more openly. So, off-screen this has been going on for a while. And that explains why she drugged the food ahead of time. So she was ready to nail us, no matter what. Um, you're, you're fading out. Hello? Oh, it's doing a time skip. Hi, guess we're still here. How you doing? Oh, no, I guess we're going to another time skip, sure. Hey, still here? How you doing? You do realize we're both stuck in this situation together, right? I guess I'm stuck in the middle of you. How much longer do you plan on making us sit here? I don't know. We'll see how long this playthrough goes. Here, you have to eat. Can't have you dying on me before you admit what you did. I'm wondering if the letters that are capitalized have a, uh, an importance. M? Let's look at the log. Ooh, you can't see it in the log. Ooh, I do think these letters are important, though. Oh, 
You're awake again. Ready to M -O. Pass. Nope. I'm going to be here for a while. I'm very patient. I won't listen to your lies. You're not real. M-O-I. I didn't keep track of the first letters because I didn't start to pay attention to them yet. I mean, we've made safe, so it's all right. I wonder how long it's been now. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad to stay like this after all. T. Quit staring at me like that! There's nothing I can do. I can do. All I can do is just stare. Maybe if you untied me, we'd have normal, like, anime visual novel things. Sleep well, my love. You're right. I'm an imposter. Why is there a light bulb in the corner? Oh, God. The le this is what the letters were for. Oh, no. There's no way I can solve this, because I didn't keep track of the first letters. Uh... Yeah, I was already wrong. We failed. That was a weird random puzzle. And that's gonna come to haunt us. Still not talking, huh? Oh, well. We've got all the time in the world. And all we're doing is just waiting. What do you want from me? Whenever you're ready, just go ahead and tell me the truth. I ain't telling you anything. You know, just looking at your face offends me. I might have to do something about that. Nah, no you don't. I have a beautiful face. It's fine. Too close. Get out of my left ear. You must be thirsty. Can I get you something to drink? If you don't stay hydrated, you won't be able to own up to your crime. Let me go. It's cold in here, so I brought you a blanket. Don't you try a good cop, bad cop me. It's not for you. It's for my love. Um, okay. Really? Tears again? Haven't you learned by now that crying gets you nowhere? Honey, this is toxic. Let me go. You still awake? Good. I'm still waiting. Let me go, honey. This is not healthy for a relationship. Would you just drop the damn disguise already? This little charade of yours is getting tedious. <sighs> you know... A relationship only works if both people are who they say they are. Nah, that's cool. What happens if someone's Superman? Maybe they can't say. <laughs> Ignore me all you want. It won't change anything. I 
I hate that it's come to this. Come to what? Don't get any weird ideas. No doubt you despise me, but I don't care. You don't belong here. I'm just doing what's best for all of us. How many cuts do you think it would take for you to bleed out? <laughs> I bet you'd make such a mess. Wanna give it a go? Not really. No, I'm not into that. How long have we been down here? Days? I need to tell you something. Huh? What is it? Are you finally ready to drop the act? Well, first I'm gonna make a save point, honey. There you go. Put two there, just in case. I suggest you choose your next words very carefully, demon. Tell one more lie and I swear I'll end you right here, right now. I'm sure my darling will forgive me for skipping your confession if it means we no longer have to suffer your unholy presence. Stop breathing my ears so I can talk. I know I'm real, but I'm not so sure I can say the same about you. Perhaps you're the sus one. I don't think you like that answer. You've gotta be kidding me. Are you fucking serious right now? Don't you dare try to- I mean it, just think about it for a second. No, there's nothing to think about. This isn't a debate. But... Well, you can't say I didn't warn you. Don't worry, my love. This will only hurt for a second. And then we can finally be together again. Just the two of us. So, wait, wait, what? No more pain. No more lies. I swear, I'll set you free! I'm pretty sure a lot of pain is about to come towards my direction. Ah. Ah. No, I'm pretty sure you're killing both of us. Please stop. You said no more pain. This is a lot. I guess we're dead. That didn't work out for either of us. No, let's just not answer. We're just gonna wait here. You've been making me sit and wait? I'll make you sit and wait. How do you feel about that? Yeah, pan in my ear all you want. Oh, look, I love you. Oh, wait, well, it's gone. Say something! Quit staring at me like that! Fuck! No swearing. Just fucking admit! <laughs> Nah. No, please. No. I suggest you. Okay, so let's try to hit that. I love you, but it disappeared really quick. Let's just keep clicking this area. Got it. What did you say? Uh, I said I love you. I love you. S stop it! Emma girls are weak to you saying I love you. No, I need to know that I love you. I need you to know, rather. Whoops. That sounded kind of suspicious in itself. What are you talking about? That can't possibly be true. Y you're lying! You have to be! I'm not lying. It's me. I love you. I always have. Trust me. Is it really you? How did... The demon is dead. I saw how much you were suffering, and I killed it so I could come back to you. I... I want to believe you, but... I can't even tell what's real anymore. Baby, none of this is real. You're stuck in a video game. Shh. It's all going to be okay. We're safe now. I thought you might be trapped inside that thing all alone. 
I couldn't even tell if you could hear my voice. But I never stopped believing you were alive in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I am so sorry. I couldn't save you myself. I swear to you, I tried. I, I just couldn't bring myself to do it in case I hurt you as well. It's alright. I forgive you. I wonder if the fact that Texas is short is just a style thing? Or does this also like mean like, oh yeah, we're totally fooling you? <laughs> you have no idea how much I've missed you. You are my world. Promise me you'll never leave me again. I promise. I can't even tell you how happy it makes me to hear you say that. <laughs> I love you so, so much. I don't know what I'd do if I'd lost you. Yeah. No matter what happens from now on, I'll always be by your side. I won't let anything take you away from me ever again. So yeah, we totally fooled her. You're right. I am an imposter. So until I admit it. Please don't stab me. <laughs> Finally! Thank fuck for that! I knew it! I just knew it! <laughs> there. That wasn't so hard, was it? Don't worry. I know exactly what to do to resolve this. It better not involve a knife. I don't think you get the point. That is not gonna work. Okay. Now hold on. I'm gonna get you out of there. I have a feeling this is gonna involve a knife. I don't know where to begin. If I cut too deep, I might accidentally hurt you. Yes, this is gonna involve a knife. Please, no. I guess I'll start with slitting the throat. No, please, no. No, that's the worst place to start. Please. What? You're... crying? Why are you crying? How pathetic! Did you honestly think I'd fall for something so obvious? I mean, I think it's a metagame thing. But at the same time, what if, like I said, what if it's just a memory thing? We'll see. Surely you knew this is how it would end the moment you stole my love from me. Sorry? Now you say you're fucking sorry? You're only sorry that you've been caught! You don't have the right to cry after what you've done! You deserve no mercy. Scream all you like. There's nothing you can do to stop me getting my love back now. We can finally be together again! Slay my throat won't bring your love back. Um, I don't think I'll accomplish much of anything, so I had a corpse to this basement. I know you're in there somewhere. Even if I have to drain every last drop from this rancid creature, I'll find you. I love you. So, so much. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, the game crashed? I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Wait. You, you're back. No. That's impossible. What is this? I got rid of you. It's supposed to just be me and my love now. So it is a fourth wall breaking game. Demon, how did you come back? Please, please don't do this to us. I, I just want to be alone with my partner. I am I your partner. I you here! Kind Leave of. us alone! No! I'm begging you! Please! Don't take them away from me again! How could you? Yeah, that one just kind of like start the whole process all over again. So we gotta enter the password. I. M. P. O. S. T. O. R. This one. Bam. 
Have you considered you might be the imposter here? You just don't know it. What? Don't be ridiculous. N no, that's not possible. We wanted to make this different because we kind of chose this choice before. Look at what you've done. The person I would love would never do this to me. S stop it! You're lying! No, you're the liar. You're not the person I fell in love with. What have you done to her? I wish I could believe you. Don't say that. Th that's not fair. I did this for us. Well, you might as well kill me now because I'd rather be dead than stuck with a monster like you. I'm not the monster here. I I swear. The old reverse psychology trick. Why are you looking at me like that? Please say something. It was I was like I was looking at walking garbage. Let me prove it! I made a promise to protect you. Whatever it takes. Forgive me! Oh no! Uh, I love you. I love you too. I don't think we accomplished anything in this life. Huh. I can't believe she fell for that. And all you have to do is just put in the password imposter and just reversed itself. So that's it for imposter. So it turns out in the end that we are the imposter. We are the suspicious one. It is a meta storyline that obviously plays on the idea of the player being a puppeteer controlling a never fictional character who then maybe acts like what our in-game character does not attribute to that character. So the first comparison people will always make when it comes to meta games is Doki Doki. And I always go back, Doki Doki's Inspired, which is not the first one. Uh, actually, closer comparison would be Yanderella, because Doki Doki is more about an existential aspect of I'm stuck in a game, I don't necessarily want to be stuck in the game, I want to be the protag, I want to be with you forever. Yanderella played more with the, hey, you're acting like, not like how I think protag should be. You player, get out of here, correct things. Um, and there was never a Nitro Plus vision novel that did that. Which I think inspired Yanderella, respectively. So this was leaning towards that angle. They used voice acting, which is, I think, a smart choice. Yeah, I did like how they added multiple choices for the voice acting, and you came up with, like, a husband or a wife. They did a few tricks with the voice acting, but it looks like they weren't able to fully take advantage of it. I'm assuming because of the time frame they had, uh, where you could have really done some very different editing tricks to really lay down the who are they talking to at the moment kind of thing. And all of us, we lost some length on the total game that would have benefited it from the Game Jam time frame. But that's how it is. It's a decent enough imposter visual novel anime simulator. But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching me play Imposter. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.